Julie Seal, and I'm at the Salter Screen Fencing Center in Linden, Utah, and we're going to talk about different styles of fencing. Now, your style of fencing probably has a lot to do with how old you are, whether you're a boy or a girl, where you're from, where your coach is from, and how long you've been fencing. But we're going to go over just a few different kinds today, and then maybe you can get an idea of where you fall into where you fall in that mix, and whether or not you'd like to add some different elements to your personal style. The first style we're going to talk about is French fencing style. It's usually associated with epée. This style is a little bit slower and very hand oriented. It uses tight point control, effective feints and really good disengages. The French are really well known for this style and often they even use a French grip. The next style we're going to talk about is a Russian style, often associated with saber. This style moves very fast, back and forth using the whole strip, a lot of getting away from the attack and then going and returning the attack back to your opponent. It features very strong counterattacks and really athletic movement. The next style we're going to talk about is the style the Americans use a lot. This is a style that has to do with a great amount of parry repost, where you block the blade and then return the attack. This style uses changes in speed and tempo and often involves doing a second intention action after a false beginning. The last style we're going to talk about is the Italian style, most often associated with their foil game. This style uses large, circular, elaborate parrying actions and very precise back and forth tempo changes and execution of footwork. Now you can check out these styles for yourself online, but whatever style you use, make sure that you pick one that's suited to you and that makes you feel comfortable and that you can execute consistently. Well, that's a lot about the styles of fencing.